Now that we have basically finished all of the material in uh, Physics 121, I'd like to take a step back and kind of give you a big picture summary to see how the things we've learned fit together and also how they fit into the wider you know, world of physics. So I'm going to do this as sort of an idea map. So um, I'm going to start with physics sort of in the center. And everything we've done this quarter has been a particular branch of physics called mechanics. Um, and remember, mechanics is the study of motion, so I think you'll agree that everything that we've done up to this point um, falls into that category. All right, so there are two big areas of mechanics. Um, the first one is kinematics, um, which was just descriptions of the motion. Um, and the other big area is dynamics, which was um, trying to figure out why things move the way they do, in addition to just describing how they move. Okay, so with mechanics, we had um, sort of three key quantities that told us essentially everything there was to know about how an object moves. Um, so one was the position, the other was the velocity, and the third one is the acceleration. Okay, if you, know, if you knew those three things, you basically knew everything about how an object was moving. Um, when we studied dynamics, that was sort of split into two main areas. So one, um, the first one that we did was Newton's laws. Um, and that was specifically trying to understand motion in this cause-effect relationship. So you push on stuff, and then it moves in response to that push. Okay. Um, meanwhile, the other way that we had to think about um, dynamics was with conservation laws. Okay. And we had three different conservation laws that we developed this quarter. Okay. So one was momentum. So momentum was conserved as long as um, there was no net impulse. Um, we had also angular momentum. And then finally, energy. So these were three separately conserved quantities. Okay. Um, but there were some connections between these different areas. Okay. So now I'm going to use a different color to indicate how the different parts were connected to each other. So first of all, um, Newton's law is connected to kinematics because the force was related to the acceleration of an object. Okay. So specifically, acceleration connected those two things. Um, if we knew all the forces, we could figure out the acceleration. If we knew the acceleration, then we could figure out the position and velocity, assuming we had some initial conditions. Okay. So that was a, a key connection there. Um, velocity was something that specifically played into the um, momentum of an object. Okay, so momentum was defined in terms of velocity, and we found that there was a conserved quantity that was specifically related to that. Um, that is also true of energy. So kinetic energy was related to the velocity of an object. Um, position also played into this a little bit. Um, we had, for instance, potential energy that was related to um, the positions of the objects in a system. What about angular momentum, though? Well, angular momentum, remember, was based on um, rotational kinematics. So we had sort of this um, you know, weird mirror world where we could split um, the rotational motion we could think of as um, being related to a rotational position, phi, um, omega was the rotational velocity, and then we had a rotational acceleration. Okay, so this blue dotted line is sort of um, a reflection of those other quantities. Um, they have basically all the same properties, they're related to each other um, in certain ways, and then those quantities were related to um, the uh, angular momentum as well. So um, Newton's laws, in addition, were related to um, momentum. So for instance, we had this relationship that um, the force is the um, derivative of the momentum. So that's one way to write Newton's second law. Um, we also could calculate torques, which were related to forces again. Um, and the torques were related to, again, the dynamics, um, both in sort of this Newton's law sense, we had torque equals I alpha, and then also in terms of conservation, because if there was a torque, then that would change the angular momentum. Okay, so there were a lot of connections between these ideas, but this is sort of the main tree of how this came about in 121. But what I'd like to do now is take these same, um, the same map and consider what other types of physics are there outside of mechanics. Okay, so um, first of all, we can go through sort of just in the same order that you're going to learn about these in, you know, the next couple of quarters. So one of the areas of physics is electricity and magnetism, or e &M, as we like to call it. Um, and that's something that you'll learn about in 122. Okay, so um, you'll learn electricity and magnetism separately and then kind of combine them together into this, you know, grand theory. Um, there's also waves, which are sort of the key ideas that go into 123. So waves turn up in a lot of different areas. Um, they are attached to electricity and magnetism because there's light waves. There's also um, a spring bouncing up and down is sort of a wave. Um, there are sound waves. Um, so lots of different things kind of come together in this you know, notion of waves. And that's kind of the key idea of 123. Um, in addition, uh, we kind of touched a little bit on this, but there's thermodynamics, um, which is the study of heat, temperature, um, flow of energy in you know, a variety of different circumstances. Um, another area you may have heard of is quantum mechanics. Um, which is largely the study of electrons and um, photons. It's the study of you know things on the smallest scales. So it relates to atoms. It relates to a variety of you know things like that. There's also relativity. So you've probably heard of that as well. Um, so relativity is sort of a more advanced version of the kinematics and dynamics that we've learned so far. Um, by adding in a couple of new rules, you can kind of change the way that that looks. And when objects are moving really close to the speed of light, there's a lot of really weird things that happen. 
Okay, so these ideas um, are not all of physics. You know, for instance, something that isn't explicitly here is optics, which is its own area. Um, but optics is related to these um, areas because an electromagnetic wave, which is what light is, um, is related to ENM and it's also related to waves. Okay, so um, those are you know closely related ideas. Um, also, chemistry is closely related to many of these things. So um, if you study chemistry you will also learn about thermodynamics and quantum mechanics from you know a slightly different point of view. So those things kind of come together. Even ENM to some extent uh, plays into that because atoms are made out of positive and negative charged particles. Um, and so those are all related to each other. Um, so again, there are more areas of physics. So there's for instance, solid state physics, which is maybe kind of related to ENM, kind of related to thermodynamics, kind of related to quantum mechanics. It's sort of the study of materials. Um, there's also quantum field theory, which is you know kind of bringing together quantum mechanics and relativity and ENM um, in you know a sort of more unified way. Um, but this sort of shows how we're going to approach this um, in the rest of the sequence. So um, I mentioned that you know 121 was mechanics, 122 is ENM, 123 is mainly waves. Um, you're not really going to get a chance in the sequence to go much more into thermodynamics, although in 123 you will briefly get to see quantum mechanics and relativity. Um, if you go on to take uh, physics 225, which we do offer um, at Bellevue, you'll learn a little bit about quantum mechanics and relativity, so that's more modern topics. Um, and if you're interested after you take 123, I would encourage you to check that out or like talk to the professor about whether it might be a good fit for you. Um, but this is sort of the, the overall picture, I think, of how the physics that you've learned so far is going to relate to other types of physics that you'll get to.